Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another new series. This time it is new game minus, 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 with five minuses. So it's basically Antimatter Dimensions new game minus four, but there's even more nerfs. Hooray! So, okay, let's see. We start at 200 Antimatter. You start with regular dimensions time dimensions like a new game minus four and infinity dimensions which is new um if you if i try to buy this i need to need i need to have at least one normal dimension so i have to do this i get the first achievement this the second achievement is going to take a while it really is going to take a while it it's actually surprisingly hard to get this <laughs> and it also has a reward and it's a pretty op one that or at least i think so now what we can do is we can um, get this, get get a new beginning because I get infinity dimensions. I boost a galaxy upgrade for some reason, which is a new game minus two thing. We can also get a time dimension. So the infinity power is doing absolutely nothing. This is because of new game minus... I'm not even sure which minus, but the time speed is 1 over 1,000, which is just ridiculous. And, like, we're stuck at dilation. And, like, I think this is, like, challenge 3, which it's either vanilla challenge 2 or vanilla challenge 3, which severely nerfs dimension production. And because we're also in, in this attorney challenge 12, instead of taking a few minutes to get to 100%, it'll take more, like... A, a few days so yeah it's pretty abysmal <laughs> but also there's matter regular matter just like in normal challenge 11 and yes this regular matter will try to catch up to antimatter and that's where the main new mechanic of new game minus 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 happens and that is something called Paradox. So, Paradox is the new game minus 5 layer. I'll explain more about it when I actually get there. Because there really isn't anything to do at this point. I mean, what did you expect from new game minus, 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 minus? Um, you can see this is slowly taking down. It is not actually taking down once per second. It seems like... It's ticking down once every five to ten seconds. T ten seconds, not five seconds. But yeah, it's it is gonna be a slog. But things will get better. I actually have played this a little bit in not that much in, but a little bit. And things do get a little better, but still a lot of waiting. So yeah, see it. Well, actually, no. Before this, 1.1 matter. Yes, the matter is actually rising. And it will catch up. So, yeah. See you in a bit. Okay, so it's been about an hour or so. And, yeah. Here is paradox. Because matter has, inc has like, basically... It's overtaken my antimatter, which basically... As per challenge 11, it resets. And with new game minus 5, it resets to give me paradoxes or paradox points. Um, I, don't, I don't know how I should say it, but I know it's technically paradox. So, yeah, there, there's two choices I can make. There is time speed is two times faster and gain a... Massive multiplier to infinity dimensions. The tricky thing is, like, this may seem a lot more overpowered, but, and, like, yes, I actually have bought this before, and it does affect infinity dimensions, like, very noticeably. The tricky part about this is, is because since you are, like, since the way you get paradoxes is through having the matter overtake your antimatter, sometimes you don't want to actually get 
antimatter as quickly as possible. So, and this would just is just going to speed it up no matter what. So that's why I'm going to pick this. I also noticed that this dropped from points. 17% to 0%, which means that we are in challenge 2, not challenge 3. So, yay, that's... Vanilla challenge 2 is rough. Because it's one, it's one of the roughest challenges, just because it, it, of how much it nerfs all your dimensions. So, yeah, that's a part of this game, of course. I I don't know, I don't even know which parts are from which new game minus, but yeah. So there's other upgrades as well. There's dimension multiplier increases two times faster. Is this like your per 10 dimension stuff? Yeah, we're not going to be getting per 10 dimensions for a while. There's also matter increases slower, which again, like all of these things are going to actually boost the amount of antimatter I get. And that actually will help in the long run Eventually, you start getting multiple paradoxes per time the matter resets. But very early on, it's probably best to just keep doing it like this. There also are paradox dimensions, which give me extra seconds. So, like, use when the matter exceeds your antimatter. So, this will be useful for getting multiple paradoxes and also when I can actually start getting more antimatter because antimatter is, isn't even noticeably increasing. I'm getting 0, 0.000 antimatter per second and I need to get this achievement, this achievement, I need to get a single second dimension which costs 3000 antimatter. I'm also going to switch to mix scientific just because we're not really going to be going beyond, like, the E3, E4 anytime soon. And it's like, okay, that we're doing it like this. Yeah, it is really going to take a long time. I don't know how long it's going to get until we can get a single dimension shift. Which is <laughs> insane to think. But, yeah, see, you know what? see when I get another paradox... Okay, it's been, I don't know, some time, and I can get another, I have another Paradox, so, yay. I actually think that the best strategy at this point is actually getting nothing. Maybe I can get this, but this is going to make it much longer before I can get more Paradoxes. I don't want that. I'm actually going to be saving up till getting this upgrade, because I really think that... That's actually the best way to go in the early, early game of New Game Minus 5. I will, I, I'll get this after I get this, maybe. Just to see what it'll do. Because, um, yeah, it, it'll it make me curious. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I wanted, I wanted to show you what it's like at the very end of a Paradox run. There's only a couple seconds until... Um, the matter reset. I've still made a total of zero antimatter, which is just insanity. Like the fact that I've gotten this far and made exactly zero antimatter is just, it's pathetic. So here we go 2.2 .2 antimatter, 2.2 .2 matter. There we go, another paradox. And I'm going to wait until I get this upgrade. So yeah, another run. Yay! Things will get more interesting soon, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, see you in another bit. Okay, I have grinded three paradoxes here. Which means that we're not going to go to paradox dimensions. We're going to get another time speed is two times faster. I really think that this is the best way to go. If I just want to get fast paradoxes, which I think that's really what matters the most. Because... You can see it's now a quarter of the time it was before to get to Paradox, which still is quite a lot of time. But this this is New Game Minus 5. What what did what did you expect? I've still, out of all of this, made a grand total of 
0, 0.0 antimatter. And I've lost <laughs> I've lost a total of four dimension boosts and shifts after matter resets. That's an interesting little statistic there. I still don't even have any achievements beyond the, ver the very first one, this one, which is a joke, and this one, <laughs> because I have infinity dimensions. I don't even have this one yet, which is which I get very early in New Game Minus 4. I also don't even have this one, so that's very interesting. I'm, I, want, I wonder if I'm going to get, I wonder if I'll get infinite time before I get the second one, and the infinite time reward actually is very no it's only powerful in like late late game like eternity quantum like new game plus 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 stuff it's like this this does not matter at all and also i don't even think i have any tick speed because of it because of the infinity challenge three and so it's actually just going to be giving me a, a tiny flat multiplier to my dimensions because yeah that's that's what all of those new game minus nerfs do so yeah, see it in another bit. Okay, I'm back like maybe 10 minutes later and I have another paradox and I'm going to try something else other than just, you know, trying to get this upgrade over and over again because it seems to be increasing at a more than exponential rate. Like either double exponential or worse, tetrational. I hope it's not tetrational because if it was tetrational... This next one after 27 would be in the trillions. And then the one after that would be E trillion. So yeah, I don't want that. I'm going to go for not paradox dimensions, but this upgrade. Gain a multiplier to infinity dimensions. Currently 10 billion times. And it looks like it's actually non-repeatable. So this is giving me a 10 billion Time multi times multiplier to my infinity dimensions. Well, actually, it's not 10 billion. And this is because of the dilation nerf that new game min the new game minus minus brings. However, although it, I'm getting almost no infinity power, you can see this is actually starting to move. It's giving me a noticeable multiplier on all my normal dimensions. This is going to make it so I may actually get some antimatter. I don't know how much because here's the thing. The next useful thing costs 100. Okay, this is 178 antimatter. This is 100 antimatter, which is really a lot. <laughs> and this is 15 antimatter. This is going to be almost useless because you can see... I'm getting no time shards per second, and I'm not able to get anything here. I think it might be useful once I get some kind of upgrade, like maybe this one, Infinity Power Boost Time Dimensions. I feel like there's something else that makes Time Dimensions actually useful. Maybe it's maybe something in Paradox? I'm not sure. I might just need to get a Time Dimension Shift, which requires 10 of these. The scaling isn't that bad on, on this, though. Like it's only 1.5 times, so it's probably a few hundred antimatter, maybe a thousand to get a time dimension shift. And, okay, I did not predict we we're going to get this one. Yep, have your infinity power per second exceed your infinity power. Because I think even, okay, here's the thing. I'm getting zero infinity power per second, but the but look at this. The time speed is 1 over 250, so that means I'm getting... But that means I'm getting at least 2 over 250 infinity power per second. You can see this is actually starting to really give me a good multiplier on all my dimensions. This is dilation nerfed, unfortunately. <laughs> of course, like literally everything else, I'm still getting 0 0.000 antimatter per second. But it's doing something. Like this is the real multiplier. It's not dilation nerfed twice. At least I hope it's not. <laughs> yeah, this game is really funny because I now have more infinity. I've now made more infinity power than I made antimatter, which is just so weird to think about. Unfortunately, there's no statistic about how much infinity power you've made, but this means I could actually get something like this achievement, which 
makes first dimensions a million times stronger. Okay, dilation is going to nerf that to like a thousand or something, but that's still powerful. And each infinity challenge boosts a galaxy upgrade, which we haven't got to, so that's second part useless. However, if I want to get this, of course, I'm going to need to hold off the matter first. So this is actually a justification to me getting stuff that, you know, holds off the matter reset. This is the crazy thing about this mod. I'm still making 0.000 antimatter per second, even though I have a 4 million, which is nerfed to 5,000 times multiplier on my normal dimensions. That's how ridiculous this is. This also does seem to be going up faster than before. I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's some kind of infinity power. Is this multiplier affecting infinity power? I'm not really sure. Because I've still gained zero tick speed upgrades. Maybe it's... No, it's not even this. It's I'm really not sure. This upgrade seems like a good one to go for. I, I'm going to go for this one next, actually. Because this seems... This seems pretty good. Because, yeah, that that's going to be powerful. It's going to allow time dimensions to become actually useful. Well, 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 it took this long. Just very, very close to the matter reset. I have 10 billion multiplier normal dimensions, which is actually 100k. And I'm getting 0 0.001 antimatter per second. I have made a total of 0 0.1 antimatter. This is, I guess, an achievement. Even making this much antimatter, which is insane to think about. And this is where I'm going to end the episode. 2.3 antimatter. Next episode, we will explore this upgrade and Paradox Dimensions. So... Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Come on, come on. We're one second away. We're zero seconds away. <laughs> zero seconds away. Come on, come on. You can do this. There we go. Just setting up the next run. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out for real.